to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Babu sala pranda gatuzia tapra hasara balatuzia teketa. All I want is for you. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, all I want is for you. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. Here's the part that ministers to me. Feel my life till all they see is you, Lord. Glorify your name. Feel my life till all. Lifted high, be lifted high for your glory. Be lifted high, be lifted high, be lifted high for your glory. Spirit of the living God, move us to unusual realms of influence. Move us to unusual realms of power. May we experience the Christ in a mighty way tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Just before we sit... Apostle Paul was mentoring the church in Colossae, chapter 1 and verse 9, Colossians. And he was defining the boundaries of growth for a believer. And Paul was praying and he asked the Lord that he would bring to the church three dimensions um, of spiritual realities. He said that they be filled, number one, with the knowledge of his will. Number two, they be filled with all wisdom because wisdom is dimensional. That all of the dimensions of wisdom be captured in their Christian experience. And then number three, that they be filled with spiritual understanding. Ephesians 4 and verse 18 says, having their understanding darkened. Then it says, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them that the ignorance of a man can rob you of the experience of the kingdom i told us yesterday if you remember that the kingdom is not only to be believed 
you can taste and see that the Lord is good it is not only to believe he is good there is an experience to the dealings of God hallelujah thank you Jesus please be seated we have a long journey tonight I promise to be a good pilot in the name of Jesus amen let's start with a very serious scripture this night if Ecclesiastes chapter 9 we're still dealing with matters that make for influence and relevance in the kingdom Ecclesiastes chapter 9 I pray in the name of Jesus that God will open our eyes Ecclesiastes chapter 9 we'll start from verse 13 it's a very interesting story please look up this wisdom have I seen under the sun and it seemed great to me there was a little city and few men within it and there came a great king against it and he beside it and built great bulwarks against it sin two now there was found a poor wise man look at this kind of description a poor wise man and he by his wisdom delivered the city yet no man remembered the same poor man and here is the moral of the story 16 then i said wisdom is better than strength truly because he's just delivered a city nevertheless a poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard that a man by his wisdom delivered a city yet because he lacked the tools that make for influence his voice was shut down listen to me if you pay attention tonight in the name of jesus to the things that i'll be sharing with you believe me the lord will by these tools step us to higher realms and higher dimensions of influence and kingdom relevance there is there is a synergy to our growth in the kingdom please look up our growth in this kingdom is not haphazard and it is not all up to God are we together now you can decide that I want to rise from one dimension to another and the Bible says that grace and peace is multiplied to the saints through knowledge that means when knowledge comes and not just random knowledge you see uh, let me observe something quickly apostle do you know that the challenge with many believers in africa and across the world is not ignorance i do not believe the church is in ignorance there never has been a time in the church age where there is such a manifestation of spiritual truth from church to church you go online and there are all kinds of messages attempting to communicate different dimensions of kingdom reality so i do not believe that the church is necessarily in ignorance but i believe that the truths have not been sequentially arranged to provide the victory you see that so we do not know what truth is responsible for what outcome so we randomly apply truths in hope that one of them will work and the danger is that it will work but there is no mastery you see that because the principles were randomly applied so when you are challenged you engage the blood of jesus the name of jesus holy ghost fire somewhere in the equation something will work now the danger is you cannot mentor a people with that kind of randomness there needs to be exactitude to our spiritual understanding let me show you a scripture luke chapter one luke chapter one for as much as many have set in hand please look up to set forth in order a declaration of those things which are most surely believed among us they are not things that are casually believed they are most surely believed conviction next verse even as they delivered them unto us which from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word verse 3 now look at this it seemed good to me dr luke is writing now haven't had what 
please talk to me haven't had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write thee in order most excellent theophilus why verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed i'm working on your conviction he says i do not want you to believe just because you think i believe it i want to bring you to a point where you know that you can have perfect understanding let me say this our knowledge of god and our encounter with him we will continue to grow in the knowledge of god even in heaven are we together but as far as your victory in the cosmos is concerned the truths that are responsible for your influence and your lifting are finite you can hold them please understand this the idea that the truths that make for the victory of the saints are so vast is in itself an error the truths that makes for our victory and enthrone the Christ within our domain are finite like a student goes to school goes to college you can graduate and keep learning but the body of knowledge that makes for the degree you can have it and exhaust it and be awarded that degree are we together now something plus something plus something plus something equals your victory in this life you, it's not a, it's not an equation that is endless the name given to the body of light that makes the saints outstanding is called marvelous light it is on the strength of this body of knowledge that we are called a chosen generation he calls us a royal priesthood a peculiar people what is our advantage access to marvelous light not just light he made two great lights the bible says one to rule in the day the other to rule in the night if you possess only the light that rules in the day you will be in trouble in the night you must sustain the light that can make you in dominion both in the day and the night hallelujah praise the lord so conferences like this unveil exact kingdom principles listen to me the things I share with you are not my opinion. They are not, they are not the product of a research that is, is, is some hypothesis being tested. No. These truths are backed up by the integrity and the jealousy of God. Please understand this. The power of God has been invested upon these truths and these principles. If applied and applied diligently, will turn anyone into a wonder the truths are like a protocol if you walk them they will escort you to realms that veto your background to realms that veto your limitations so please i want you to believe and be prepared to don't just sit wondering okay let's hear i hope that i will get one or two things no these are principles um, that are very powerful the Bible says that when we pray we should pray that heaven is reproduced in our environment it says that the kingdom should come by thy will the word will there is is the same root word with the word logos the thoughts of a man that seeks expression that's where we get the word of God the logos the intention of the father that seeks to be expressed through the saints. Are we blessed? So I want to share with us a few things. Let's talk about the marketplace. There is such a concept like the marketplace. Now, you... you, you don't think I'm talking about business at all. The marketplace is a name that attempts to capture the system of exchange on earth. The marketplace has nothing necessarily to do with business. It is a strategy that allows men to exchange possibilities for other possibilities. Are we together now? That it is the place of exchange. 
when you sow and you reap you exchange your seed for a harvest are we together now so listen it, the, the, the spiritual the, the economic butter system was a, a download of a strategy that is ancient and works in the realm of the spirit exchange Jesus himself used that law on the cross the Bible lets us know that it was through this mystery of exchange that he became sin. It is even through the mystery of the exchange that we become the righteousness of God in Christ. Please understand, we're dealing with something serious here. The ability to exchange what you have for what you do not have. So I can bring my weakness and exchange it for strength. I can bring my ignorance and exchange it for knowledge. Are we together? This is very, very important. Jesus, born the sinless Lamb of God, when he walked upon the earth for 33 and a half years, he was flawless in every way. And then the Bible tells us that one time he needed to become sin and he needed to apply this law of exchange. And the system for that exchange started, theologically speaking, in what we call the communion, right? He's sitting with the disciples and he picks bread that he said he was, the living bread. So he was carrying himself and he broke himself into several dimensions and shared it across the body of Christ. The number 12 is a number for government. He was not just giving 12 disciples, it was a mystery. Are we together now? Because the government represent people. Is that not true? So he was, that was the human race prophetically captured in 12 people. Jesus was breaking himself, giving them different dimensions of him. And by that exchange, now on legal basis, he could become sin. Because he said, if you eat my flesh and you drink my blood, you can partake of my life. And that means I can also partake of yours. It's an exchange. In theology, we call it the doctrine of interpenetration. It's the system that makes two entities become one. It's the same thing that happens in marriage. When the Bible says two become one, it doesn't mean they enter into themselves. No. It means that spiritually there is authorization to share. Are we together? It's the same principle that is used in impartation. When you are a partaker of a man's grace, that door, that gate is open so that there is a sharing together. Hmm. Hallelujah. And that this cosmos operates by that law. Nothing really goes for nothing. Now listen very carefully. That your relevance will be based on your understanding this principle of exchange it's just that business people have been the most outspoken people to operate that law but it was not meant for business it's a system It's one of the wisdom keys for operating in the cosmos i can exchange something i have for something i do not have amazing revelation that means I do not need to cry for what I don't have. There is a principle already built in this system. Are we together now? The yesterday's version of me can have something and I can exchange it for what tomorrow's version requires. So whatever is not in my life now, I don't need to be afraid because there is provision for growth. Are we blessed? I needed to establish this so that we can discuss what I really want to talk about this night. I'm just praying that God will help me so that I can work this thing well. So the marketplace is a place of exchange and is a place of rewards. Please take note of these words. We're going to deal with them. Exchange and rewards. Exchange and rewards the marketplace are we together hmm. I trust your wisdom and we thank you for helping us 
Are you ready tonight? Luke chapter 16. We'll read verse 11 and then later on we'll start from the beginning. Luke chapter 16 and verse 11. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's read if you're a Christian. Ready? One, two, read. You have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon. Uh-huh. Who will commit to your trust the... Now, Jesus is using an interesting concept. He calls it true riches. That unfaithful mammon is talking about money. Why is it unfaithful? Because it can be disloyal to people anytime. It's here today and not there tomorrow. You have more of it today and tomorrow it tries to go down. So he says that attitude is the attitude of unfaithfulness. He calls it unfaithful mammon. That if you are not faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you? What? True riches. Now watch this. The name, this thing called true riches is what we want to deal with tonight. I want to show you a powerful secret three people please come hold on hold on hold on please don't don't, don't just run please let's maybe protocol help me coordinate them if not we'll have some chaos here just three gentlemen gentlemen okay well you come please stand here everybody watch this thank you um please give me this bottle of water anyone thank you now watch this everybody call this a product this is a product is that true hold this please lift it up this is a hundred a hundred dollar bill please lift it up now watch this in business every business person and all over south africa look up please you know and you have been taught if you want this product this is the name given to the capital that buys it is that true that means if I give you a hundred dollar bill or if you have a hundred dollar bill you are happy because it sustains the ability to purchase this product in this case a bottle of water are we together now I want to introduce you to the capital that buys money when you want this what do you bring I know that I want this so this is what i use to buy this but if this is what i want what do i use to buy it? because this is also a product and there is a capital that buys that product the name of that capital is true riches the capital that buys money I want to build a house <laughs> are we together I want to buy clothes I want to live a comfortable life I want to sow into church but I have the product but I do not have the capital so I will need this the moment you give me this I begin to rejoice because it's the guarantee that I can have this I don't fear this when I have this what must I have to not fear this I mean you went to school this is this is this is are we together listen my brothers and sisters tonight's teaching will save you decades of frustration and shadow boxing I told you there is there is exactitude to spiritual operations hmm. the capital that buys money now let me tell you this do you know I hope you are not offended that I'm bringing out money. Please. It's not. I'm just, for some reason, this teaching requires it. And, and it looks like when we bring it out, there will be understanding. Are we together? There are people who will not get this thing at all until we just bring a token that, that wakes them up. Praise God. Now, watch this. Please listen to me. For as long as I have this, I will never fear this. But when I do not have what buys this, I will always live in fear. I will always live in frustration. 
nobody has money and walks to a shop being afraid please give me this give me that give me this okay uh, do i want this and people watch you your confidence shows that there's something in your pocket so what must be in your life for you to look at this and say give me this add another one more of this how much is the house a million rands okay um give me this give me that this is true riches are we together and i'm going to show you that there are many other currencies we use for exchange money is only one of them if all you buy in your life is paid for with money you are not very rich and my prayer tonight is may you not be so poor that all you have is money what we are discussing is serious business tonight true riches are we blessed now so we will discuss very briefly i won't waste your time and then we'll pray God. dear people of god the church is a blessing we are not a cause to society we are not a nuisance to civilization it's true so he says there is something called true riches jesus had it he walked upon the earth and he had it that there is something that the moment you carry you begin to exhibit magnetic properties you are a human being but something that is in you and on you begins to exhibit properties that is akin to a magnet and suddenly you find out that you can lay up gold as dust your life becomes an epistle of wonder and people look at you and say no no i know you i mean you grew up there in that street and you say it's true but in my growth process i came across a body of truth and i submitted myself to that truth and this is what it has made me become you fear success when you don't know how it came fear is proof that there is no mastery are we together are we blessed thank you god bless you thank you this is for you all three god bless you thank you thank you now watch this in this kingdom please listen carefully listen carefully success was never designed to be pursued already if you seek success you have failed please listen don't be offended if i'm a bit harsh is is the depth of my love and my insistence that you get this thing this night are we together now that the moment you find yourself pursuing success you have already failed the first spiritual principle that i want to teach you tonight that the bible calls true riches the capital that buys not only money buys influence are we together now it's called the law of the mind please write it down that in this kingdom you don't make money off a business a business is a reflection of your understanding a business is a report card telling us how your mind is are we together now this is very powerful the bible says genesis 11 please give it to us the law of the mind and let me let me give you a little brief please look up you are going to learn it now it's very powerful that realities watch this realities are first formed in your mind before they are formed in your physical environment please listen to me that the physical environment of a man is akin to a mirror if i'm looking at myself in a mirror and i find a thread on my head do i put my hand into the mirror to remove the thread what do i do i remove it and the guy in the mirror will obey that guy in the mirror is your physical environment and that the reality listen please listen to me attempting to become anything 
that is not yet captured in your mind is like pulling a rubber ring it will go back it will use a sequence of events that look like coincidences but it is a law are we together now every dimension in life has treasures i'm glad this is called the house of treasures every dimension in life has possibilities and realities attached to it are we together now and that if you have not qualified in your mind and you force your physical environment to reflect that result it will betray you and return you back to where you really belong this is not demon oppression it's a law so everything in this life is built twice first here then here that anything that has already been built here there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to sabotage it dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bas kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pagotos koto pray kate kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.